Hi, um, I'd like to talk about Xcode right now with Swift. And, uh, uh, you know, a question that comes up is how to create um, a navigation that includes uh, a login and a register screen that appear sometimes, you know, when you're not logged in or when you're going to a page that requires a login. Um, and so, uh, so I'm going to present a solution here, um, and this has a lot of good ideas in it. I'm not going to say that this is the be-all, end-all solution for this particular problem, but it shows you a couple really um, core ideas with uh, Storyboard and Xcode, and, and this would work for, for your login um, situation. Um, I've set up a project here, and you can see that um, I have a navigation controller, and my navigation controller connects to two views. And we could have more views in here too. Um, and then down here, you can see I have two more view controllers, and this is the login, and this is the register view, okay? And notice that these are not connected with a segue, okay? So I didn't connect these with a segue. And um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, and this is one of the ideas that I wanna show here, and we could probably do this with a segue too, but I'm gonna show you how to create a, a view and display it via, um, you know, with code rather than through a segue and storyboard. Um, and uh, let, let's just see how this works, right? So, so this app um, is just like a test app, but imagine that the views here, starting with the view controller, are your app, and they have the main, you know, sequence of the app. So we want the app to do these things. It wants to show the home screen. It wants to show this table view over here, right? And you want to be able to go back and forth between these. But if you're not logged in, I want to be able to show the login screen and then ask you to log in. Or if you're in the login screen, I want you to be able to tap on register to create a new account and then show this view controller, okay? So let's see how this works, right? So I'll, I'll click... Uh, test here, build the project, run it in the simulator, and you can see that um, immediately the first thing that my program sees is that I'm not logged in, right? And so it presents the um, login view as a modal in front of or on top of, and if you saw, like just let me test that again, right? Like watch very quickly at the very beginning here, you'll see the login view slide up from the bottom. Right, so it slides up from the bottom and it covers this pink view, the home page. So this is the first concept, right? Is that um, if you have view controllers and you're going to present one modally, right? When you do that, a modal transition is where the view controller slides up from the bottom, and a modal transition doesn't use the navigation controller, so it's not a part of this navigation sc scheme at the top. So the modal view appears on top of the current screen you're going to answer a question or do something in that modal view and then put the modal view away and go back to your regular navigation. Okay, so so it's not in here and it doesn't use the history either, so you can't really go back or forward to the modal view. Okay, so the second thing is that um, when we have a modal view, if you want to switch from one modal to another, you'll see what I'm going to do is if you click on register here, if I tap on this, it puts the login away and then it shows the register screen. So what I want to do here is I want to dismiss the modal view, right? So first I presented a modal view, the login view, and then I dismissed it and then I presented the registration or the register view, right? And then if I click on login from here, we'll do the same thing, right? We'll dismiss the register view and present the login view, okay? So anyway, so that's how the project is set up. And I have this on GitHub. You can take a look at it. Um, so there's a couple things, though, about the storyboard here. In order for this to work, what we're going to do is um, we're going to take a look at these two views right here. So these are just two regular view controllers. And these could be any view controller, really. But when we click on this one and I go to the sidebar here and look at the identity panel, okay, um, or the identity inspector, you can see that it says identity, and then there's an option here that says storyboard ID. And this is where we're going to be able to pull up a view from storyboard in Xcode via this ID name. So we're going to put a name in here, and then the register view, you can see it also has a name. Sometimes you want to use this restoration ID, and it's kind of 
uh, it seems to be best practice um, to keep these both the same. So they actually have a little checkbox here that says use storyboard ID as the restoration ID. So, um, so I usually check that box and then it'll just put the same name down here, okay? And you can see that I gave each one of these a class. So in my project, um, you know, the home screen here is the view controller class file. And then the table view up here doesn't have a class file. I didn't do any code here. And then these two views, the login and the register view, are login view controller and register view controller, right? And then I have one extra file in here called, um, called login manager. And login manager is a singleton and it just has a couple methods in it. It actually just has one method that just allows us to log in and then it returns a true whether you're logged in, if, if you're logged in and a false if you're not logged in. So well, we'll take a look at this file right here um, and then I'll just rebuild the whole thing in the next video. Um, but, you know, looking at this, you can see it just says, you know, class login manager. Um, I've set this up as a singleton. And then it has this one method, login with username, right? And you pass in a username and a password. And then you could do some login logic or connect this to whatever system you're using for logging in. Um, and the method just returns a Boolean. So the bool says true, you're logged in. False, you're not logged in, right? Um, my code doesn't really do anything except if you, you know, if you pass in an, a username and a password that are not blank, not the empty string, then it just says, okay, you're logged in, and it sets this log in, logged in variable to true, right, and then returns a true. Okay, so so that's our basic setup there. Um, and, you know, really to learn how to do this and to see all the other features, why don't we just rebuild the whole thing, um, you know, from scratch, right? So I'll, I'll close this. Uh, let me close that project there. Let me close this other one to... And this one, I have all these windows open. Let's get rid of all these. There we go, right. Um, yeah, so uh, so then, wait, let's close that one too. And now let's make a, um, actually, you know, I think I have another one here. Let's close all those, okay. So now let's make a brand new project. So I'll go to, um, you know, new pro file, new project, and then I'll choose single view application, okay? And I'll save this one as login example video or something. How about that? And um, I'm not going to use core data or unit tests. I'm going to check this box, include UI tests, even though I'm not going to do that here, but maybe later I'll do a video and we'll, we'll take a look at UI tests. Um, but I'll click Next. And um, then I'll save this into this folder here. And now we're all set. So maybe the first thing we'll do is we'll go to Storyboard and we'll set up the basic project, okay? So we'll just get some view controllers in here just to get started. So um, I'll select this first view controller. This is the default view controller. And I want to have a navigation controller to navigate through my app. Right, and you know, you might have a more complex app. My app's going to be really simple, right? Um, so what I'll do is I'll select this view controller, make sure it has a blue outline, and then I'll go to the editor menu and choose embed in navigation controller. Okay, and this isn't the only way to set this up. You could set this up any number of ways, right, and get the same result. So you know, do whatever whatever works for you. I'm going to select the navigation controller now and set the size of it. And I'm going to make it a little bit smaller because I don't have a lot of screen real estate here. So um, let me arrange these windows there. There, that looks pretty good. Okay. So there's my two views, right? Now, this is actually not a view. It's the navigation controller. And really, really, this, this thing right here, we don't see it, but it is actually a container, right? Because you can put one view controller inside another. So what's happening is this view controller here is really displaying this one inside it. And that's because this view right here is the root view, and that's what this symbol means on the segue. This is special segue, it's a relationship segue, and it says that this view is the root view for this navigation controller. And the root view is the first view, okay? 
Um, <clears throat> so anyway, so we've got that, and we'll add another view, and you know, our app could have as much stuff, so you could build your entire app in here, right? You know, just ignore the login and register screens for now, right? So maybe I'll add a, um, a table view controller. Yeah, so I'll grab a table view controller and put it here. And then maybe, you know, to get to the table view controller, I'll put a button in here. Um, I'm going to grab the bar button item and drag it up onto the bar here. And I'll, I'll make it a list or something, right? And then maybe I'll control drag or right click and drag from the button over to this. Um, oops, I got the wrong item there. Over to the table view, right? And we'll do a show segue. Okay. So we'll do, do action segue show, and then there's our, our segue, right? See, that's a different one from this one, right? This is a show segue. <coughs> so now, you know, clicking on this button will take us here. Maybe we need a label, too, so we'll put a label in here so we know when we get to this screen. And we'll call this the home screen, right? And uh, maybe I'll set the uh, font here to... Uh, Let's make this a um, headline font. There we go, right? And um, so that's our home screen. Maybe we'll give it a color, too, so we know when we're here. We'll make it the pink color, right? And then maybe this table view right here, just so we have some content. Um, I'll, um, I'll click on the table view, switch it to static cells. That'll give me three cells. And then these cells here, we can make them basic cells and you can put you know any content you want in here right and that'll kind of just give us something to uh, to see when we get there we'll call it you know cell one cell two cell three right okay so anyway so now we've got a an app right um, let's test it out so we'll go to, uh, you know, iPhone 6. I'm going to test iPhone 6 there, and then I'll click Run. And then we build the app, and there it is, right? And if I click on List, you know, it takes me to the table view, and if I click the Back button, it'll take me back. So that's our navigation controller, and that's exactly what we want, right? Um, now the thing is, Imagine that we're here on the home screen and, you know, you need to be logged in, right? So you go to the app and then the app wants to say, hey, you know, you're not logged in. I want to check your status. And if you're not logged in, I want to show you another view that is the, um, you know, the, the login screen with, with a login form on it. And then it have an alternate screen if you want to register. So we'll do that in the next video, okay? Um, so I'm going to save this because this is our basic setup, okay? And then, and then we'll add another video that, that adds these other views, okay? So thanks for watching. Oops. Uh.